In this video, we're going to come up with the equation of the tangent line of a cycloid. So, uh, so here you've got your cycloid here, and uh, this is our tangent line here, and it just touches the, uh, the cycloid. So the cycloid is here, the tangent line just touches there. And by the way, this point, the intersection of the circle and the, uh, and the tangent line is always, always, for, for some reason, the, uh, the tangent line of the cycloid uh, where, where it intersects with the circle, it, it's always it's always right above the center. This point here is always right above the center. So, for example, let me try and an animate it. So here you've got your your cycloid. Hang on. So this is your cycloid here. It's, it's, it's tracing out the path of the cycloid. Hang on. Let me just move it across. So this is your cycloid here, and then uh, and then if you look at the tangent line. Hang on. Where's with me if you look at the tangent line so so this is your tangent line tangent line here so the the uh, the the top the the intersection of the two here is always right above the center of the circle for some strange reason but in this video we're going to come up with the equation for this tangent line here for this tangent line okay so let's go back to here so we I've done I've done several videos on this um, on why the um, well, why why the x location is given by this and why the loca the y location is given by this. I've done a step by step guide to this. So if you don't understand this, then track back to one of the early videos. So the so this point here is given by this. So this is our x location, and this this point the the y location here is given by is given by this. Now, if you, to, to, to come up with the equation of the tangent line, you will need to know the gradient right at this precise point of the cycloid. So the, the, um, the gradient dy by dx is given by you differentiating the y. So this is your y here. You differentiate the y. That will then give you this. And then differentiate the x. So differentiate the x. That will then give you this thing here. So so uh, dy by dx is given by this. Now the equation of this tangent line is, uh, is, is y equals mx plus c. Now that we know the gradient, we can put the gradient into the m, into the m. That will then give us this. That will then give us, well put it into the m, that will then give us this. So now all we need to do is find out, find the intercept, find now that all we need to do, so, so we know the gradient, we know the gradient here, all we need to do now is find the, the, uh, the intercept. So to find the intercept, um, to find the intercept, we will need to know um, one particular point on that line. Well, we know this particular point here, this is our particular point, and we know the, the x location. The x location is given by, by this. The y location of this particular point is given by this. So we can put this so so we can put hang on so uh, so we know the x location so we can put the x into here and then we can put the y into into here okay so so we can put the x into here and we can put the y into here and then we can work backwards to find c so putting putting that into x that will then give us this putting that thing into the y that will then give us this now it's, so this is our gradient here this is a gradient. So now it's just a matter of working out C. So C turns out to be to be this thing here. So the equation of our line can be given can be uh, can be written as this. This is the gradient, and this is our intercept. So if you plot this in decimals, you can actually uh, it will it will animate it for you. So if you want to know the equation, hang on, um, it will be given by Hang on. It will be given by this thing here. So if you punch that into Desmos, um, uh, well, just punch everything into here, and then you can play around with it. So as you slide a back and forth, it will draw, it will draw your tangent line. Okay.